Hi. So I'm so glad you guys were able to be here and participate in this um, little webinar presentation live session. It's going to be really helpful to you as you get going here through MBA. Now you're returning students, so a lot of this should be coming um, a little easier to you hopefully this year, but um, you can always use tips, I say, to help you be more successful as you're going. So I'm hoping that this presentation will help. If you have questions along the way, please go ahead and type them in. I'm going to be going over three S's of success. So as I go over each, I'll take a break and answer any questions that you might have as well. So the first S to success that I find, let me see if I can put my comments so they're out of the way for right now. Oops, okay. Let's just move them. Let's hide them and we'll bring them back later. Oh, geez. Well, you know, gotta love technology. Um, it's schedule. Schedule, schedule, schedule. I mean, if you don't have that schedule, it's, it, it makes all the difference, I think, in being successful, a student, successful anything. I work on a schedule, my house kind of runs on a schedule, I have my kids on a schedule, it just makes everything go a lot smoother. Um, the schedule is going to keep you on track with your courses and it's going to help set the pace for your week. You know, it, it can be hard to look at your, your whole curriculum and you look at maybe an English class and it's 18 assignments and that can be very overwhelming. Um, but breaking that down and maybe saying, well, you know, I only need to do two a week. How can I pace that out? Can make all the difference between that and saying, oh, I hate English, I'm not doing 18 assignments. So think of it that way. The great thing about MBA courses, they're available 24 seven. One of the potential downfalls as a student with that is that they're available 24 seven. So if you're not feeling it that day and you don't wanna work, that can really be a problem. It can hinder it, hinder your, your success in the program, um, or it can just, it's hard when you just think, well, I don't need to do it right now, even though I have nothing going on, because I can do it later, it's still gonna be there. Really set that mindset, like when can you work? Pick a realistic schedule that works for your life. What days or times work best for you? If you work part-time and you know that days are not an option, then maybe you need to look at your schedule and think, what is an option? What days are going to work best for me? You know, if you are off on Wednesdays and Thursdays, could you potentially bulk up the work on that day? Yes, do you have to do it all at once? No, but would working a little bit more on that day help pace out the rest of the week so it's not so overwhelming? Yes, I think it would. Um, so, and, and obviously writing it down is gonna be key. I'm a very visual person, but you need, if you don't have it in front of you and you just say, yeah, I'm gonna work on Mondays, that doesn't always work. So write it down or use a calendar on your phone. Um, this year is like the first time I've really been utilizing the calendar on my phone for some reason. Um, I usually write everything down, but this year, um, my husband kind of challenged me to get things on the calendar on the phone so that he knows my schedule again, to keep us both on the same kind of pace. And it's been really great and really helpful. And it's been a great resource. And let's be honest, we're on our phones a lot. You're probably on your phone when you're working. You might be looking at your phone right now and, you know, scrolling Instagram while you're listening to me. And that's fine. But it's there, so let's just use it as a resource. Put a timer or reminder on your phone to alert you when to start and stop working. If you really just are not in the mood to work and you are going to be someone that needs to really be pushed a little bit, push yourself. Set that schedule right on a piece of paper or set it right in your phone. If that takes putting a timer on your phone, say, you know what, I don't like English, but I have to do it every day to stay on track, then set the reminder in your phone every day, have that alarm go off, let's say 11 a.m. to 12 is a good work schedule for you, 11 to 12, it pings when you gotta start working, and then you get that nice little reminder chime that you get to wrap up things. It will be helpful to you, and if you start it now, we're only in week three or four, it's really gonna set the pace for these remaining six weeks. I don't want you to get to week seven or eight of the semester, you got a couple weeks left, you don't want to lose credit for these classes, but you're feeling like you're drowning in work. We got to get on track now, even though we feel like we have all the time in the world. We got to kind of set that sense of urgency now. It's going to make all the difference, I'm telling you. Um, so really kind of keep that in mind as you're going. Great people to help you with this are going to be on my next screen. Set that up for you. All right, let's go. Support. The second S is support. Um, you can't always do it alone. That's why we're here. They always say it takes a village. It does. We, no one can do everything on their own. Um, 
we we do need people around us to help us and lift us up and support us and just be there sometimes like hey you got to get moving so this is your support team right here these people on this page are going to be they are every step of the way but you need to utilize them so one your teacher your teacher is already calling you probably twice a week and calling your mom or dad or, or parent or someone in the house once a week so you're getting potentially up to three contacts a week from your teacher so take advantage of this when they're calling answer the phone you know we want to tell you how you're doing we're not here to just say you know kind of point the finger if you're not working we're here to say if you're not working what can i do to help you you know i can't i can't read any of my students minds i'd love to it'd make my job easier but i can't so if you can just help me by telling me what i can do to help you it's kind of like come full circle so if going back to that last screen setting a schedule is really tough for you and it's just something you can't do you gotta let us know and we're gonna be there to help you every step of the way if it's just saying you know i really need a phone call every week multiple calls or i really need you to follow up with a text to me or i really need you to look at these classes for me i don't know where to start you know whatever you need just let us know we're again we're always here to help you another great person to utilize is your coach now a coach is a, a backup support system so not everyone might be getting a call from a coach but that's not to say you can't get a call from a coach. If you would like that little extra cheerleading and you want someone there to maybe help with some outside support, potentially in the areas of like food, if money is tight, internet issues, um, if you have children already and you need some support with the kids and making sure that you know they're getting fed and diapers, that's where that coach really jumps in. She knows all the resources in your area. She can help get you the numbers. Um, but again, she doesn't know unless you reach out. So if you let me know, um, or you let your teacher know, you know, I don't have a coach following me, but I'd really love it. They'll jump on board too. You just got to let us know. Your mentor, that's really that kind of like, if you think of it as like a triangle, it's like three points. It's like you connected to us with MBA, which is me and your coach, connected to that mentor. Like we make the triangle there of like the main school team. Um, they will be contacting you weekly and they just want to know how things are going so please make sure you're making that contact it is a part of being with us so you might as well chat with them while you're talking with them anyways and tell them what's going on in your life so mentor contact runs wednesday to tuesday it's nutty i know but that's just how it is so again going back to scheduling put a note in your phone today like when you get off this webinar put an alarm in your phone wednesday morning and just title it mentor contact and then contact your mentor every wednesday and knock it out um some are calling you some might be emailing an admin tom if you're not sure who your mentor is or how they are contacting you ask your teacher and they will know but you need to make sure you're getting that in because it's a part of the program and again that's just another support system it's another person there to help you have to utilize these people because if you're not if you're not letting us help you and you're not getting the most out of this program and everything that is there, the resources that are there for you. Um, the next is your friends and family. They're there for you. They're the, they want you to succeed. They want to be your cheerleaders. They want to help you too. So let them be a part of your successes. Share when you finish a class. I've called so many parents and said, so-and-so finished English last week. And they say, oh, really? Yes. Yeah. They don't even know. You gotta tell your parents. They want to know. They really do. Even if they're just as busy as you are, or it may not seem like they they want to know. They do, and they want to help you every step of the way. They're part of this with you. Include them on this journey towards graduation. It'll make it so much more fulfilling when you get to that finish line. So really make sure you're including them. And the final support system, yourself. I know this is this is where it gets cheesy. So I get cheesy sometimes. So I'm just telling you right now you have to be your biggest cheerleader because at the end of the day me coach mentor friends and family we can push you so much but you're the one that has to run across the finish line you have to do it we really want we want you to be your best and we're going to be there and we're going to do everything that we can but you've got to want it too and you do want it or you wouldn't be here you do want it you might not know how to get there but you do want it so utilize us to help you but just cheer yourself on. You know, there's a quote I had heard 
um, one day where it's like, if there's no one there to cheer you on, then you need to cheer yourself on. So you know what? If you do get through that English B class, then you pat yourself on the back. Hey, that is tough, especially if you get through English. Let me tell you, so much reading. Pat yourself on the back. Don't just say, hey, I finished it. You finished it. Give yourself credit. Give yourself excitement. Be happy about it, you know? On social media sometimes, I see so much um, negative things. Even like on Facebook, it, it can almost like depress you a little bit. You know, be excited about it. Shout it out. Hey, everybody, I finished English with a 72%. Go me. You know, be happy. Be proud. Boast about that. Um, these are the things you're supposed to be, you know, bragging about a little bit. So I really want you to be doing that. I want you to really support yourself. Um, it only makes it easier when we support you. And don't hesitate to reach out, again, to your support system, because if you're not utilizing us, then, again, you're not getting the most of this experience. So the final S, I'll lose my little brain there, but sharpen. So never too late to kind of sharpen up on skills or feel like you're catching up if you're feeling behind on something. So here's a question I have for you today. Have you considered tutoring? So a great way to make sure you're confident in a skill before moving on to the next lesson is tutoring. We offer that right in house. We have a great tutoring team. You can have a 30 minute to one hour phone session on the subject and topic of your choice. The tutors will go through things with you. I know some of our math tutors will share their screen with you. Um, and they'll walk you through every step of the way. Um, and then you may have a chance to retake a test to improve your score as a result of that tutoring. You can work with your teacher and the tutor on that. And again, it's not too late. So even if you're through unit one in algebra, but you just feel like there's some things that just are just not clear yet, or you just want to jump in and get the tutoring now, it is not too late. That's what they're there for. And again, you've got to utilize all of these resources you have. Um, they want to help you, and they'll, they're awesome. The good thing is, too, you could have a great session with that tutor, make a great connection, and then you know what? They're there again when you need them. We'll set it up for you again when you need it. So please know that that is available, and that is there for you. So you're ready to set up tutoring, and you haven't had a chance yet, and you've never done it, and you don't know what to do, just talk to your teacher. Your teacher can work with you to set up a time and date that works best for you. But let me say from my own advice, setting up tutoring multiple times with students, it's always easier to set up that tutoring if you just call your teacher. You can email and text them and that's great, but there's just something to be said for the teacher can pull up all the tutor schedules and then it's just instant gratification back and forth on the phone, picking a time and date that works for you. When you do it on email and you get that little bit of a lag of communication, you may not get your first choice in time. So if you wanna make sure, if you want 12 o'clock on Wednesday, then you need to make sure you call the office. Um, and if the worst case scenario, if your teacher's not in and you want to set up for the next day, you can always ask, is there another teacher there who could help or a lead? Um, and they may be able to help you as well, just so you're not kind of sitting there. So again, go to my next screen here. So let's just quickly recap here. So what can you do right now to execute the three S's? Schedule. Decide when you're going to work this week. Put those days on your phone calendar and set up an alarm as a reminder. Do it tonight. Do it while you're watching TV. Um, it doesn't take long at all. Look at your, your schedule. I will say, something that I do with my students is I will look at the whole semester. So I'll look at every one of your classes. For example, I can look, or you can do this yourself. It's not something your teacher has to do, but look at your schedule. English, you have 17 assignments left. There's eight weeks in the semester, divide 17 by eight. That's what you need to do every week to get through your classes. Biology, let's say you're really ahead in biology and there's eight weeks left in the semester and you only have eight assignments left. That's pretty simple. You only want to do one assignment a week to get through biology. Sit there and do the math on that. It'll make you feel a lot better than you think. It'll really make it seem like less work than you might be thinking you have to do. And your teacher can help you out with that too. Just let them know. Support. Um, when your teacher and coach call to check in, simple, answer the phone. Um, if we're leaving voicemails, it, it definitely is not as effective as chatting with you. Um, and we actually really like chatting with you guys and getting to know you and um, just seeing what we can do to help support you. So answer the phone. And if, if for some reason you can't and email is best for you, then email us back. Or texting, text us back. It's just 
back and forth communication. If I feel like I'm just leaving messages and leaving voicemails and I never hear back, even if you're working, it's, I don't know what I can still do to help you. So you gotta, you gotta let us know what's going on with you guys so we can help you. And finally, sharpen. So during your weekly call with your teacher, set up tutoring and get help in the classes that you need it. Again, the resource is there. So it's silly to not use it. It's like a free resource. Um, it's available to you and I wanna make sure you use it. Schedule, sharpen, and support. Here's where the extra credit comes in. Um, I am offering extra credit for you in the class of your choice. And this is how you get it. You're gonna email your teacher or call your teacher or text your teacher. However you wanna communicate with them, you have to get in touch with them. You're gonna tell them, I watched Mrs. Fisher's three S's of success, schedule, support, and sharpen. And one goal that I have for myself based on this video is, so after watching this, what is one thing you're gonna to do to help make yourself more successful? Are you gonna put an alarm for every Wednesday to make sure you're making mentor contact? You're gonna make sure to make an effort to answer every time we call, make sure that we save that number in your caller ID as your teacher's name, because that makes it more accountable too. When you see our number pop up and Mrs. Fisher comes on there, you might be more willing to answer. Um, are you gonna set up tutoring? Are you gonna look at your schedule and pick a subject and say, this is the week I'm gonna get help in math, this is helping me get, we can get help in reading. What are you gonna do this week? You have to tell your teacher what you're gonna do and that you viewed my live session and you will get extra credit. I'm not sure how they're gonna give that to you, but they will be giving you extra credit for viewing this. All right, so are there any questions from my current little group here? If not, you can just type no in the box just so I know that you're still with me over there. Okay, well, if there's, oh, if there's any questions, you guys were awesome, great audience as well. Um, I just wanna tell you guys that, oh, hi Lonnie, I didn't realize you were on here, welcome. Um, I just wanna tell you guys this, you're really great, and this is really hard, it's so hard. And I don't think people give students who do virtual enough credit. So first off, you have to make sure, again, like I said, you gotta hype yourself up. The fact that you're doing this is awesome. And you're awesome for doing it. You're taking the steps for your future and your education, and that is amazing. But again, all these amazing resources that I went over today, because that's basically what I shared with you, everything that we have to offer and help you. If you don't use them, then oh, it's just, it's not, you're, you're missing out. I want you to know that we, support you guys so much and we really want to be here for you we want the best for you and we just can't do that if we don't have you guys kind of going both ways and 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 working with us we just think you guys are so awesome and um and yeah so i know i get kind of cheesy sometimes so you know bear with me there but it's just because i get so passionate about it i just want you guys to succeed and graduation it's a big deal for us because we love seeing you guys get to the finish line so let us help you. Um, and yeah, let your teacher know that you've used this because I really, again, want that extra credit. Tell them what you took away from this. What is your goal after this? Because again, you just viewed this. So I'm hoping that something, some light bulb went off. Like if nothing else, I always say mentor contact is important. Um, so I really hope you took something away. And I hope you take away too how awesome you are and that you have a great night. And maybe you'll be motivated to like log on and do a lesson right now. I know I'm going to be actually, when I log off, I'm checking in with some student emails, texting some kids back. So I'm, I'm going to still be going for a little bit longer tonight. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. Tell yourself how awesome you are. And when you get done with your next class, I want you guys, my goal for you is the next class you finish, you share it with somebody, you share that excitement, and you be proud of what you just accomplished. All right? You guys have a great night. Bye.